Hey everybody, welcome to RPM, Rock and Pop Mandolin, your destination for learning classic rock and pop songs on this wonderful little eight-stringed instrument. My name is Mike DeJong, and today, well, today we are finally doing it. We are finally doing my most requested song on this channel, Going to California by Led Zeppelin. I can't tell you how many people have recommended this song or requested this song, and you know, to be honest with you, I've been a little hesitant in doing a video on this tune for, well, for a couple of reasons. Number one, there are a number of other tutorials out there that uh, kind of explain this song, although I haven't found one that shows it uh, exactly right. And probably because Led Zeppelin and uh, John Paul Jones, uh, subsequent to the band, um, never do the song the same way. I've seen many videos by John Paul Jones playing this song on YouTube and elsewhere, and, you know, he always plays it differently. So, really, there's no one definitive way to play this song. And number two, I've been a little hesitant as well because, well, I learn songs by ear. I don't normally use tab. And I had a really difficult time in hearing his mandolin part on the original recording by Led Zeppelin. However, recently the band or its management company has put out an instrumental version of the tune and it's remastered so you can really hear clearly the mandolin parts and the guitar parts in this song. And that made it very easy for me to pick them out and learn exactly what John Paul Jones was doing in the original song. So I'm gonna show you those parts today in this tutorial and I hope you have fun with it. And well, I hope you enjoy playing this mandolin classic going to California. But first, before we get into the lesson, please, if you are new here, if you're just checking us out now, thank you very much. But please don't forget to hit that little subscriber button down there in the lower right corner before you leave. It really helps uh, to continue to grow this channel into the future. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you once again for your ongoing support. And perhaps you want to support us a little bit more over on Patreon. If you do check us out over there, you'll gain access to some great lessons videos that I won't be posting here on this YouTube channel. Basic mandolin lessons, instrument lessons, and product reviews. All of that stuff will be on my Patreon uh, site, and the link is down below in the comments section. But that's enough of the business talk. How about taking a look at this Led Zeppelin classic for mandolin and on mandolin. It's called Going to California right here on RPM. Okay, we're gonna break down this Led Zeppelin classic played by John Paul Jones on mandolin on the original version. And right at the beginning, it's a really cool little D ascending part. I'm using some of the notes from a D scale. So let's do it like this. Right, so what does he do there? Well, you start on the fourth fret of the D string, which is actually the F sharp, or the third note in a D scale, if you want to get technical about it, right? So right there, and you do that sort of little lick, all the while catching that open A string on your second beat. So one, you see how I caught the a string after every individual note there. So you're starting on that fourth fret, as I mentioned, on the D string, then go up to the fifth fret, back to the fourth fret, down to the second fret, and then, so open two and four again. But once again, as I mentioned, you're always hitting that little A string at the top. So one more time, the introduction to the song. Okay, and one interesting note is to, well, one of the things about this song that makes it a little tricky is the introduction and the way that John Paul Jones comes in to the song with his mandolin. The song starts off with a nice little acoustic guitar pattern played by Jimmy Page, and it isn't until about the seventh measure that John Paul Jones comes in. So you want to count it off. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven. Right, come in just after the seven, seven. And that's how you get the introduction done correctly for this song. So after we do that little introduction pattern, we go right into the verse motifs, which go.
Okay, so what are those? Well, this is a really cool little pattern now, but what you're doing, you're starting off with this cool little double stop pattern. In fact, you're using double stops all throughout this little lick, which makes it really cool, or all throughout this pattern. All right, so we start off right here, the fifth fret of the D string and the open A. It goes like that. So, all right, so that's fifth fret, fourth fret, open, two, open, like that for the first part. So once again, the very first line is, all right, that's just the first line. The second line is a little bit different. It goes, okay, so the first line, and then he does another little double stop, but this time he puts his first finger down at the second fret of the A string there, creating a G double stop. All right, so, and then you move down to there, which is the fourth fret and the open A again. So that's really tricky. So you see how I did that there? And then you go all the while hitting that A open there. So creating some nice little double stop chords there. So what is that pattern? Well, that's a G chord here to what is a D kind of voicing. So the first one is a double stop using the fifth fret here of the D string and the second fret of the A string. And then quickly you go down to the fourth fret here of the D and the open A, all right? So, and then down to the second fret here and again the open A. And this time you use the open A like this. Really cool little double stop lick there. So the first part of the verses is the second part. And the verses end like that. All right, so what is that little pattern? Well, that's just, that's just. So you're hammering from the second fret of the D to the fourth fret of the D, and then back down again. Right? Sometimes he does like this. A few times during the verses he adds that little quick little pull off from four to two to open. One more time, the verse parts. So I put that little descending pattern in there. Okay, and now to the bridges of the song. Um, there's two what I call bridge parts. Actually, there's three, but the middle one is completely different. So I'm gonna show you the first two bridge parts, and they're both played over an F chord, or it could be even a D minor chord as well, but I like to think of this as being in F. John Paul Jones comes in with something like this the first time, right? So what is that? Well, you're starting on that F note, which is the third fret of the D string, and then just a descending pattern here. Three, two, open, and then four, open, all right? That's the first part of that little lick. And then he comes in and catches that second fret down here on the G string. And that little lick as well. Really cool little country or mm, I guess old school type of, uh, of lick on the D like that. So I'll do this really slowly. And he does that twice. The second part of that bridge, uh, the first bridge pattern is something like that. All right, so he goes third, second, open, fifth, right? And then third, second, then he skips down to the fourth here and open. So one more time slowly. Like that. So the first bridge pattern again, all the way through goes. All right. 
The second time the bridge pattern uh, comes up is later in the song, and it's a little bit different. So the first part on the F, this time he goes up rather than down. He goes like that. So, so what is that? Well, again, similar to the first bridge, he goes three, two, open, five. But then this time, two, open, four, open. So, and then, okay, the second time he does something like this. All right, so. All right, so what is that? Well, that's just up to this E string here. But he starts with the open E, a little pickup note on that F, so it's something like that, all right? So it's like that. So open, one, open, and then come down from the fifth to the third, to the open, to the third again on the A string. So something like that, so. And then from, all right, so. And then from here, again, fifth, open, first. Like that, okay? So just a descending pattern here. So first, open, fifth, third, open and down to the D, all right? Like that. And that is played over the second bridge part, which is close to the end of the song. There's another little interesting part that comes uh, in between verses that's pretty cool. And it goes like this. All right, that's played a couple times uh, throughout the song. And it's a really easy little pattern but it sounds really sweet with the mandolin, doesn't it? So you've got the open D string, you've got the D note here, which is the fifth fret of the A string, and then that open E string. So you've got two open strings here, and sandwiched in the middle is this fifth fret. So and you just kind of got to listen to the song to kind of get the, the pattern that John Paul Jones is playing. It's something to that effect. And then they go on into another verse there. Okay, and finally, there's another bridge part that uh, is different than the other two bridge parts, and this one comes in the middle. And it kind of leads to a, well, a bit of a chord change for this song, so a bit of a new direction. And I've seen many people uh, play this incorrectly. They just stay with kind of an F chord here. But actually, if you listen very closely to the instrumental version, the remastered version, you can hear a bit of a chord change going on there. So... And then up to an A7. Something like that, okay? So what is that? Well, that's an F chord here, right? So it's the second fret of the G string, third fret of the D, and I'm just moving this finger off. So, so like an F chord to an A chord there, right? So you got the second fret now and the second, the two second frets there. So, so just back and forth between that pattern. Then you go up to an A7 chord, which is here from the sixth fret of the G string, the fifth fret of the D, and then the seventh fret of the A, right? Like that, that's your A7 chord. And I just sort of arpeggiate it like that. Something like that. Okay, and there's finally one little part that you might want to put into those verses again. Um, right at the end of verse 2 and verse 3, uh, after they go... Okay, then this part's the same. 
then, but then they do a little... Something like that. If you listen closely, you can hear it. What is that? Well, that's a little double stop here, which is the second fret of the A string, and I'm doing the second fret of the E string, so it's like a G major seven chord, so. And then coming up with a little pattern from the second fret here on the D string. Second, fourth, fifth, open, so. And then you just let that ring out, that A note ring out, then. So I'll play that verse part again, so. played twice at the end of verses two and three. All right, everyone, that is Led Zeppelin's Going to California, my most requested song here on RPM. I hope you enjoy that. It's a really cool mandolin song and one of the quintessential songs on this instrument in rock or pop music. In fact, it's on my top five list of mandolin songs from classic rock. Um, I've got it at number five, but maybe after learning it properly, I'd probably want to move it up a little higher now. But anyway, say la vie, that's life. It is a terrific song, and I hope this tutorial helps you to get down the parts accurately uh, from what I hear them to be on the instrumental track that was uh, recently sent out, remastered uh, by the record company. So check that out as well on YouTube, and you can play along with it. My name is Mike Dijon. Thanks again for tuning into RPM. If you are new here, please hit that subscriber button. We really appreciate the support. Again, if you are a longtime subscriber, thank you so much for your ongoing support of this channel. We really appreciate all of your kind comments and suggestions too. Please keep tuning into RPM. Lots more to come in the future. My name is Mike Dijon. Thanks again for watching.